Plaintiff Marsha Carr claims she rented a car for her cousin who kept it so long, the rental company threatened to have Marsha arrested. It was finally returned, but the fees were never paid. She's suing for $3,900. Defendant Erica Ross claims she returned the car, paid the fee, and doesn't owe anything more. She's countersuing her cousin for $500 for breaking into her house. Marsha, you are suing your cousin Erica? Yes. And why is that? Okay, Judge Jerry, like, this is not just my cousin, but I also look at her as a sister sometimes. Like, we grew up together. We lived in multiple households together. So, like, for her to do this, it, it really upsets me because... Like, it didn't just impact me, like, financially, but my life. Like, I can't even get, like, a car. I just got in a car accident recently. What happened? She was supposed to have a deal with me. She did something so grimy and disgusting that I would not expect from her. $4,000, she put me in debt and lied about it. It wasn't $4,000. It was $4,000. I understand the amount. Right. Tell me what happened. So, basically, so as, me being, been as me right. being a good person, as me right. being a good person, right. helping her and her right. son out, because she was getting on the bus with her son, I got her rental. I got on the bus. I, okay. They were. Stop like I was saying, so I had a car, yes. but I used to get rentals. So I bought a car in July. Yes. In July, I let her get a rental after I got my car because, oh, I'm getting on the bus with my son. She was working. She was in school. Whatever the case may be, So she wanted can I get a rent rental? a car? Yes, in my name. In your name, I yes, see. Yes, in my name. So it would be on your card. On my car. Okay, every, so you rented a car me. for her on your card yes. at, that she could use, and she would pay pay, pay it back, right? Pay it back. Okay. So July we did it, turned it in August. So we did a month thing, one month to the next month. So it worked. August okay. we did it, returned it back in September. Now I'm in college. I go to Niagara University, so I stay with her for like a good two months because I was just wait until I go back on ca on campus. Yeah. I go back on campus. I get her another rental, September 22nd, right? Yes. Okay, I'm thinking the same thing's gonna happen. I text her October 18th. Like, okay, we're gonna return the rental now. Let's take it back. She texts me like, oh, can we wait till Thursday? I don't have the money right now. Okay. Okay, never call so me back. So in other nothing. words, when you rented the car on September 22nd, yes. you were supposed to return it a month later and you were gonna meet her at the place where she can give you the money to right. pay Right, but she car. made an excuse like always, because no, she lies and lies and lies. I, we have the messages. It's not that. It's not hard to tell the truth or not. Whatever, because she's just a liar. That's this is what she does. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna return the car. She don't have it because she don't. We're not going because she don't have the money. Okay. I'm your cousin. That's fine. We're gonna take it back. So I'm like waiting for her to call me. She never calls me back. Never reaches back out to me. So I text her again. We need to take the car back because now my credit card company is calling me saying Hurst is charging you a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. Is this fraud? I'm like, no, it's not fraud. I have a rental which is not being taken back because. I'm waiting on her to take it back, but I'm gonna return it by the end of the week. So now I'm telling her this. Okay, we can return it back. Can you just tell me how much it is? I tell her the price. Oh, now it's, I don't have the money. I only have $500. I'm gonna call you back. I'm asking my mom for the money. Did she call me back? No, she never called me back. I had to text her yet again. Yet again, I have to text her. What's up with the car? Like, let's take the car back. Like, you're interfering with my life now. Now, this is nothing to do with you because you don't care because you're good at the end of the day. This is interfering with me. Yeah. Right? So I remember I asked her in October. Now we're in November. So yes, this. the car still is not returned. Oh, we're going to return it now. I said, no, I, now it's going through me. Now I'm taking action. Now I'm going to tell you, we're going to go back at 12 o'clock and we're taking this car back simple. It's just that. Okay, we're going to be there. I call her two times. She doesn't Did, show up? Not at all. Didn't show up, didn't answer nothing. That's when not was okay. the car finally returned? The car was returned on December 7th. December 7th. She told me she returned it November 25th. The reason why I found out it wasn't returned on November 25th, because they put a warrant off for my arrest. Because she didn't return the car. No. Yes. They said that that was yes. bad. When she yes. she texted me telling me like that she got the little voicemail, <sighs> I had already returned the car when she, she got did. the voicemail. She did. And like okay. I told her she when she it. got that voicemail, they she said that it was I called, back and they called her. I called myself. I'm, I'm pretty right. sure she okay. could get and the they said footage from okay. her. Okay. Myself, Quiet. So I'm thinking, man. The Hertz bill here says it was rented on September 22nd and it was returned December exactly. 7th. I understand, and you're saying she didn't pay it. There was a warrant out for your arrest, though? A warrant out for my arrest. I have and it. And why I was the warrant it. out for your arrest? Because she lied, basically because she lied and told me that the car was returned and it wasn't returned. So now it's going on four oh, months. It was no. it was four months okay. that I had the car and it was supposed so the, to return a so month later. So you're saying Hertz took four out months. the warrant? Yes, yes. Because they wanted return of the car and it yes. hadn't been returned. So yes. there was a warrant for your 
your arrest. Did they come and arrest you? No, they sent the message out and told me, like, it's a runner for your arrest. This car is now reported stolen. It was a it's, voicemail. No, it wasn't. 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 Let me tell you. Exhibit C9, and you can read the message. I'm an investigator hired by Hertz Dollar Thrifty. This message is for Marsha regarding the Nissan. If this was vehicle not. was returned, I need to know which location, date, time, and where the keys were left. If it was not returned, you need to return within 24 hours. If not, this vehicle will be escalated and reported stolen, and a warrant will be attached in your name. And that was a voicemail. And 24 hours later, and the, the car wasn't returned. The car was already returned. The, the car was not that. returned. It was not. The car was because okay. before she got that I voicemail. called the next day, Judge Jury, yeah. and the lady told me, she, I told her, so what happened was when she returned the car on December 7th at night when she got off of work, because she's a liar yet again, they told me the car was dropped off and they left keys in the key box with no money and my car was charged $3,900. All right, so what she is saying, which is backed up by the bill I have here in front of me from Hertz, they didn't get possession of the car until uh, December seventh. Whenever they checked it in, it's on them. I returned when she, she sent not. me that voicemail of them saying, "It's not a voicemail, oh, it's a message." Oh, she, she got a message that they said that she didn't return the car. I said to her, "I said I don't know what you're talking about." I had already returned the car at that time. When, when did I you return? Them, when did you return the car? I don't have the date that I returned the car. No. This is a lawsuit for four thousand dollars, and you don't remember when you returned the car? In my old phone, I had the date, time, everything. So we, we, that's we, when I knew how I returned it because the it was in the phone. They say 8 o'clock in the morning on December 7th. First of all, December 7th is my sister's birthday. I was not returning that, that car on okay, December oh, Okay, forget the 8 o'clock time. That could be the time they Checked got it to in. work exactly. in the morning, which meant it got there the night before. But they're saying that's the day they got the car back. Okay. And it, she's being charged that. Right. Now, which, did you pay for it? Yes, I put the money in the glove box. So you're saying... There's a drop box there. You put the keys in there. Yes, and I put the money inside what? of the glove you box of the car. You put cash in there in a glove box? Of the car, Where's yes. your receipt? They wouldn't give me a receipt, first of all. I'm Why not would Marcia. you leave? I'm Hold not Marcia, so. Why would you leave $4,000? It wasn't $4,000. How much did you leave? I left $2,687. That's what the lady told me on the phone, how much it was. So that's how much I left there. In cash, in, in the cash, box. Yes. But there's no proof of that. There's how no could proof you... of what? of you leaving the money there. They have cameras, I'm pretty sure. She could have got no. the camera footage. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> Wait, you left the money in the glove box of the car? I told them. If you put cash in the glove box of the car. And the car was locked. Okay, anybody could then take that money and there's no proof that you paid it. Okay, but that, that's, why that's you not my to... fault though. Yes, Sir, it listen, is. You I'm don't... telling you, November 16th, <laughs> listen, November 16th, I cashed my check. Okay. They told me how much it was. They said it was $2,687. Right here, this is my Get school that. check. It was $3,000. I used that to pay for the rental. Okay, lot. so that's proof that you got some money. It's not proof that you paid the rental. But that's what I did with it. Leaving money in a glove box was either very negligent or honestly, I don't want to say stupid, but from your point of view, if you leave cash in any place, and you don't have a receipt for who got it. If you would have gotten a receipt, there'd be no lawsuit. You could then go and say, here, I paid the money, I don't owe you. End of story. But because you didn't get a receipt or you didn't write a check, which of the canceled check would have been evidence, something to show that you paid the money. But it, the, the car was not in my name. I so understand I did not that. physically Listen go to her. to what I'm saying. I know it's not in your name. It was in her name. That's why she had to pay the $3,913. It was in her name. You're right. But because she had to pay it for a car that you were using, you owe her the money. Otherwise, she stuck paying $3,913 for a car that she let you use the whole time. But you have to understand, she's not innocent. Can like, at speak? the same time, she stole from me. Okay, she broke I into got my that. Now I want to go to that stole part. From me. You countersued her for $500, and what was that for? For she stole from me. She broke into my house. She stole my Uggs. She stole my son's Tims. She stole my pants from Tory, leggings, like dumb stuff. She just broke into my house and stole from me. How do you know it was her? We live together. She's the only person other than my mother who has the code to my house. 
So Only her, because like, we lived together. We, she lived with me. What? If she's living there with you, if she took him, that's somewhere in the house. What? Where did Jerry, she take I'm him? She had already moved back to college. Yeah. What are you talking Jerry, about? Does Jerry? Does that, Jerry? That makes no sense. I moved out in August. How can I remember your your code? I moved out in August. My Jerry. neighbors saw her. I they said the blue the blue car that blue yeah. car that blue car that came to the house. Does Jerry? That blue Kia? Yeah, that was her. I was in class. They said it was the same car class at our that was stupid. Why would that I used to live there. How do you guys live? Together. Does it, Even her mother says she's stolen. Let me tell you, you what happened. No, no, let me tell you how it happened. Even her mother says she's stolen. She just won't stop. Live? Exactly. Listen, Judge, <laughs> this don't make no sense. All right. Y'all trying to act like y'all no, know what I'm talking about. No, you sound stupid. Y'all trying to act like y'all know what I'm talking about. But you know what I'm talking about. She was not living with me when she stole my stuff. Got it. Got it. She was already in college at that time. Okay. And, yeah, in college, what I need to steal from you and for? And she came to my house and stole from me. What I steal from you for? What you mean? How I steal four thousand dollars from you? All right, I'm making my decision. That don't make sense. Judge is talking now. That don't make sense. Okay. So I'm going to fine for the plaintiff $3,800. Hopefully our friendship and our relationship can be repaired. We're family at the end of the day, and we're cousins. So, you know, life goes on. Um, recently, um, I got in a car accident, so I can't get a car. I tried to, credit score too low. I basically need a co-signer, but my, I can't keep falling on my family. Try to get an apartment, no go. Credit score too low, so yeah, my life kind of messed up. And it's just like, I just, I'm just like disgusted because it's like, how can you do that to someone you call a family? Like, I looked at her, looked out for her at her lowest moment. Like, she said she was going to bust, but she was. It's like, I helped you, and you couldn't even like return the favor. <laughs> I'm just disgusted, I swear. <laughs> She ain't leave no money. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.